what's going on? I'm Omar Strong, and I'm here to tell y'all how my jump shot got to where it is now. What's going on, everybody? This your boy Dion Queen. Just want to give you guys a little quick episode, man. It's called The Shooter's Touch. It's about my man Omar Strong, man, and the work he's put in throughout the years. And um, kind of give you guys the background of uh, of what he's came from and the things he's had to do in order to get to where he's at. It's what you do to separate yourself. He's gotten to a point where as though he's considered one of the elite shooters, uh, no matter where he's went, he's been able to be successful shooting the ball. And it's just kind of a glimpse to kind of show you guys what it takes to get to that level, what he had to endure to get to the point of where he's at now. Take a peek. Like ninth grade on down, you know, I could hit, you know, an open jump shot or whatnot, but from ninth grade summer on on to now, um, my jump shot just got better and better like every year, every summer. I just worked on it every day, every chance I got. Uh, I was told even in my sleep I was working on my jump shot, so uh, so it was really like a a hobby. You know, not I wouldn't say hobby. It's really it's really like my life actually, like. It's whatever. Basketball. Shooting the basketball. Playing AAU basketball for First Baptist. Coach Harold or Coach Mack was one of those guys. He told me how to hold the ball. Like he said, see um, a broken T with your thumb. You just be like your hands together. A broken T. All the way together, you can see that your two thumbs are mega T. But he said, it's a broken letter T. So once I found out that part, the rest was history. <laughs> the rest was history. I was just, and I started watching J.J. Reddick a whole lot. I watched J.J. Reddick a whole lot in, in high school, and it all came to me. And that, that summer, my jump shot was just, just got better. And that summer, after my ninth grade, so my ninth grade summer going into my 10th grade year, it was just crazy. It was a crazy summer. Um, I won the Carmelo Anthony first tournament. I won, I won the tournament my first year. My tenth grade year, I won the tournament again. The back to back years, I won the the Carmelo Anthony hood movement tournament that was up Cloverdale. High school was just getting crazy for me. Uh, <laughs> I was probably averaging. Say about four, maybe five threes a game. I was shooting at a, a nice high percentage from three. Um, and I just put in a whole lot of work, man. Like, cause that's what it takes to be a great shooter. You have to put in a whole lot of work. Stay low on my jump shot. Be ready to catch and shoot the basketball. Always stay low, down, and ready. And when you low, you can just come right up and shoot the ball. One of the reasons I'm able to shoot like how I shoot is because my conditioning. Um, I was really, really big on conditioning. And what I found out was the better you are in shape, the more you can do on a basketball court. So. I figure if I'm in good shape, top notch shape, then I can be able to run around and actually shoot and how and whenever I want to. And it was almost to the point that it really wasn't a shot that I didn't like if I got it off. Um, I remember it was times to where still I'd be in the gym at night two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Just up, bored, so I need to go to the gym. And I will go get on the shooting machine. I lived on the shooting machine, I lived on it. Um, either I had time to shoot a thousand threes or make a thousand threes. So if I had time to make a thousand threes, that's what I would do. If I had class or something, I only had time to shoot a thousand, I would shoot a thousand. But my percentage 
on shooting those threes were um to me it it was just it just seems crazy it just seemed ridiculous like shooting a thousand shots and making a thousand shots and I'm shooting at least eighty five plus percentage my percentage is eighty five plus like some some nineties high nineties so I really wasn't missing that many shots. Even though you are shooting on the shooting machine, you are wide open, and you're supposed to make those shots, but it's still impressive because a lot of people can't do it. But to be able to transfer it over into the game, it's very impressive, and that's what matters. That's what really counts. You know, when you can be able to transfer all that hard work into the game, Oh,